Hi, I'm Chad Colby. Welcome to Colby Ag Tech. Excited to share just a few minutes with you today as I visited with a local grower here in central Illinois that was super excited to spend the last few weeks taking a look at some of this exciting new technology he's going to put on his farm in 2016. I hope you enjoy it. So my name is Sam Meeker. I farm uh, north of Galesburg, Illinois with my dad. Uh, we've got about a thousand acres and uh, we've kind of uh, on our farm we're we're pretty typical as to what everybody else says <laughs> we you know we run fairly you know some new equipment some old equipment um, but one thing we've always been really uh, in, impressed with and we've always latched onto has been the technology you know in regards to to flying you know UAVs um, we've kind of had a couple hobby UAV, UAVs that we've played with a little bit but um, um, then when we saw the uh, when we saw the you know this guy here um, we said well you know what maybe we can give this a shot we can take it fly it scout some fields and try to try to get some real data out of it and real, some real value out of it um, so when we started to look at it uh, let me I'll, I'll just give you a quick little a quick little story about it we went we went to the to the farm show we started looking at drones and I knew what I would see there I would see a, a couple of six thousand dollar drones that I wasn't going to put the money into. I would see some fifteen thousand dollar drones that I would never spend that amount of money and not understand what to do with it. I knew we'd see these really expensive ones. What I was really impressed with, though, was when I saw a two thousand dollar drone that I could take, program a mission, send it up into the air, and come back with photos stitched together. Uh, that I can actually do something um, with. I, I'll give you a little, 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 little bit of my history and data. We've been yield mapping for about 20 years. So we started in 1995. Um, we've done some, you know, obviously the grid soil sampling, uh, barrel break prescriptions. We've done all of that kind of stuff. So we're kind of looking, okay, what do we do with the next step of, uh, of, of, of crop scouting, developing management zones, and that type of thing as well. So um, we've owned it for three weeks, maybe, um, <laughs> three or four weeks. I've mapped a couple thousand acres since then. Um, obviously, it's winter, so one thing that I've been real excited about is we've been flying the fields uh, a couple days after a rain, and we're able to see some fantastic uh, images of tile lines here. Wow. So when I think about, all right, so I took, a, I took a picture of a field, and I've got tile lines on there now. What mm -hmm. does that tell me? Well, I can take this into my software. I can go ahead and draw out the tile lines, and now I can get, um, I'll know it pretty darn close geo-reference tile lines to what, uh, where, I've, where I've got these tile lines. So if I want to go back in there, for example, let's say I find a spot out in here where I know I need another piece of tile. I can go in there and I can be, I'll call it within a backhoe bucket of that tile line when I go to dig it up and add that extension on to run that tile up into there. So, so um, one, of the, uh, one of the key reasons that I I purchased this drone, to be honest with you, was the Drone Deploy app. And uh, it's because I can take this Drone Deploy app very, very simply on the iPad. I, actually, I use a, a, an Android tablet. Um, draw the boundary around the field. You stretch the rubber band around the field, and you click the Go button. There's nothing more to it than that. I mean, it, it's draw it around the field, click the Go button. Uh, it, it will map that for you comes back with a, a stack of images, you upload them to the drone deploy site, and, it, and it's, you know, obviously you have the, the ortho map, which is very useful. There's also uh, um, some other types of maps. You can use a false ND, NDVI map, uh, which can give you uh, different color variations, uh, helps to bring out things that you can't see in the ortho. Um, and then, of course, the digital surface modeling, which will give you uh, your elevations. Great to see to find those old buffalo wallows out in there that you know you need to tile. You just didn't know where they were. Kind of my plan this year uh, is to, uh, we'll get out there. Uh, we, we'll probably do a little bit more tile mapping before we plant. Right. Um, but after we plant, after we get that crop up, you know, get the corn up there about 8, 10 inches where you can really see it, um, we'll go ahead and start flying fields. And uh, I, think, I think my goal is to fly every couple of weeks, two, three weeks, and then start to build a bit of that database of where the variation is in the field, you know, where the green spots are versus the less green spots, um, and then and then really kind of just get a bit of that knowledge base so we know where to scout. Um, we're planning on uh, we're planning on adding to the fleet uh, some sort of a nitrogen, uh, whether it's a soil meter. Uh, we may also do a, a chlorophyll type meter as well, mm -hmm. and then we'll use the the drone deploy image to guide us to where to go scout. So I'll pick a few spots. 
I'll ground truth those and then that'll help me understand whether I need to add more nitrogen or if I have enough there. Um, maybe it's disease pressure, you know, and at some point even start to do more site-specific application of, uh, of whether it be a, a fungicide or maybe even some herbicide. Yeah, ease of use is always pretty important. I've, uh, I've flown, you know, small UAVs before, um, and they're not easy to fly. <laughs> so being able, to, being able to, to literally use that drone deploy app to click that button, watch it go up, watch it fly the field with no, completely hands off. That's really important to me because it's not just me that's going to be flying it. You know, I might have my dad scout a little bit. I might have my niece, uh, my son, my wife. I mean, anybody can go out and run the thing. And that's what's really important about any, any technology, right? The nerds can always run it. It's, it's the guys that can really get the use out of it that need to be able to run it. And that's where that ease of use comes in. So recommendation for first time flyers, um, you know, a couple things that I would do, you know, do your research, uh, make sure you understand what you're getting, uh, make sure you understand what you're going to do with the data afterwards. Um, you know, for example, the, the drone deploy, I knew that they mapped a million acres, you know, and I'd looked at that, I'd seen it on Twitter, I'd looked at their website, um, you know, so know what you're going to do with the data afterwards. Um, and then finally, always the safety stuff, right? Go to uh, know before you fly, um, org, and that they've got some great safety tips in there for um, making sure that you're clear and you've done all your pre-flight checks, just like an airplane, before you take the thing off. Um, and then I encourage everybody to go ahead and get, get your ship registered as well. Um, you know, the government's, uh, they've, they've come out with the, uh, the website to do that. It takes five minutes. There's no problem with it. It's not a huge deal. Um, I don't make a big deal out of that kind of stuff. I think you just go out and do it. You follow the letter of the law and let's, let's everybody bring the industry up together. Uh, and not, you know, not not be flying into the White House. Well, well, Sam, so. thank you so much for spending some time and you know sharing your passion for this. And I think you're no different than I am. Bring on spring 2016. Absolutely, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm excited. So.